Welcome back to Gruber Motor Company. I'm Pete Gruber and today we have some sad news. We have learned through a recent EVresource.com article that General Motors is moving the Chevrolet Spark EV to end of life and will not continue producing battery packs supporting the remaining owners. Without a replacement battery pack in an EV, the car is rendered useless. In many other markets, moving product end of life is common like in our critical power field. As technology improves and demand for the older and less efficient product decreases, manufacturers often deem certain products end of life. This means they discontinue support and are no longer continuing to create parts to keep a product line alive. An owner of older equipment is usually advised of an expiration date for support and parts in advance and encouraged to upgrade to a later model. This usually works out well for the equipment owners for another reason, performance. In the 70s, critical power equipment had efficiencies in the 70% region, and with advances in technology, equipment efficiencies have now improved into the high 95% plus, which for larger data centers represents hundreds of thousands of dollars in electrical cost savings yearly. So how does this work in the world of car collecting, where an older vehicle, as it ages, is sought after due to its pedigree, lineage, rarity, despite newer, higher performing versions being available? Once a certain valuation of these older collectible vehicles is reached, aftermarket providers seeing return on investment often take over part support. The Spark is not collectible or headed that way, and without continued support from either manufacturers or aftermarket for key parts like the propulsion battery, cars like the Chevy Spark EV are rendered undrivable and are destined for the scrapyards. One might argue that the Chevy Spark could move into iconic status as one of the early EV pioneering designs, but with only 7,400 owners and a low performing, less than appealing body style, this is very doubtful. The Tesla Roadster, with far more styling appeal and collector interest, despite only 1,500 estimated vehicles left, is fortunately still seeing support from Tesla 14 years later and seems to have a brighter future than the abandoned GM Chevy Spark. What helps the Tesla Roadster is aftermarket service providers like us are specializing in Roadsters, providing service and parts support along with Tesla and Tesla is still producing the replacement battery pack for now. The burning question is whether Tesla will continue to manufacture the Roadster 1,000 pound replacement battery pack, largely viewed as an unprofitable venture for them. For a car, they are no longer under any obligation to support and for how long. We clearly understand the economics involved in producing this very labor-intensive Roadster battery replacement part with 13,662 hand-wired cell connections using $50,000 wire bonders and plastic injection molds that are now worn well beyond their continued ability to rebuild. Even more daunting are a number of critical obsolete and out of production electronics in the battery, including 11 battery management boards, a battery safety management board, and a highly custom DC to DC converter with no off-the-shelf replacements available although the time-consuming cell wiring could be performed by robotics. With an owner base of only 1,500 or so left, this robotics implementation and conversion cost amortized over the potential customer base to keep these cars alive is just not economically feasible. And then we're still left with obsolete electronics, which faces the same unrealistic costs to recreate with this small owner base. In the meantime, a company like ours is able to keep rebuilding the Tesla Roadster electronics, and along with support from Tesla, still creating the battery pack sheets, not the electronics. The Roadster future looks much brighter than the Chevy Spark about to join the scrap heaps. I'm Pete Gruber. Thank you for joining us for another video segment. We'll see you next time.